guys, Dr. Medo. Welcome back to my channel, Health Layer. So today I'm gonna talk about bananas. So why are bananas so good for you? There are tons of reasons and I'm gonna give you just a few, okay? One, potassium. Two, vitamin B6. Three, magnesium. Four, it promotes intestinal health. And five, it's good for weight loss. So I'm gonna be talking about these five things today. And if you guys have any questions, feel free to write your comments and let them let me know, okay? All right, so let's start. Number one, it's a great source of potassium. But why is potassium so important? Potassium is really good for you because it can reduce your risk of strokes, it can reduce your risk of congestive heart failure, and it can even reduce your risk of overall cardiovascular disease. But why else is potassium important? So potassium is one of those electrolytes in your body that is actually really important for your heart because your heart is a muscle and all muscle needs potassium, okay? It needs potassium, it needs calcium, it needs a whole bunch of other stuff. But if you have too much potassium or if you have too little potassium, it can induce arrhythmias. What are arrhythmias? They are irregular heartbeats in your heart. So having a good level of potassium in your body is really important to maintaining your heart health. Okay, next, vitamin B6. So why is vitamin B6 so important? Well, if you are low in vitamin B6, you get a whole bunch of really nasty side effects. Uh, you have scaling at the mouth, it's called chelosis, for those of you crazy people who wanna know the science word for it, like me. Um, it can also cause swollen tongue, called glossitis. It can also cause anemia, it can cause uh, confusion, depression. In kids, it can even cause seizures. And these are just a few of the really bad adverse effects of low B6. So a reason why bananas is so good for B6 is because it actually contains 20% of your daily required amount of vitamin B6 you should be getting on a daily basis. So bananas are good for that. Third, it's a great source of magnesium. But why is magnesium important? Well, actually, a study was conducted and it turns out, and it's also on the CDC website, it shows that low magnesium levels was associated with several chronic diseases, including high blood pressure, cardiovascular disease, diabetes type two, osteoporosis, and migraines. A lot of people suffer from migraines. A study actually evaluated what would happen if you gave an infusion of magnesium to a person experiencing a migraine at that time. And it turns out that magnesium infusion during the attack actually immediately reduced the symptoms and caused prolonged relief. So this is a really good way that if you do suffer from migraines, bananas would be a great addition to your daily diet and that's why you should also be eating it. Okay, next, it's actually really good for your exercise. It's good as a pre-workout and a post-workout nutrient. Um, they actually try to look at what would happen if you gave an athlete, a cyclist actually to be more specific, a banana versus Gatorade after exercise. And it turns out that if you gave the athlete, the cyclist, equal amounts of Gatorade and equal amounts of bananas, then it would have the same effect on the body. Basically, you replenish and you fuel the body after you have a hard workout, and it's exactly the same. So if you want your choice of banana versus Gatorade and you forgot your Gatorade, but hey, you got your banana, you're all set to go. Next, bananas are actually really good for your intestinal health. Why? Well, bananas contain fibers, two to be more specific, pectin and resistant starch. So resistant starch is really good because it allows the food to reach your colon. When this happens, specifically fiber, it pulls water in and it promotes healthy bowel movements. So this is really important for the people who suffer from constipation and you know you wanna kinda of see what kind of foods might help you, but beware and I'll tell you why a little bit later, all right? Uh, pectin, so what is pectin? It's basically a fiber in the banana and it has been found to improve the health of your intestines, but how? Actually, it has been linked to a decreased risk of cancer and more specifically, colon cancer. It also promotes satiety, meaning it helps you feel more full, and because of this, it promotes weight loss. Something that's also really important is that it also uh, it helps you maintain your lean body mass. So why is lean body mass so important? Well, if you're on a diet and you're trying to lose some weight, your body will lose lean body mass as well. But why is this a bad thing? Well, when you lose lean body mass, your metabolism also slows down. This means that even though you're dieting, 
you're more likely to plateau and you stop losing weight. But if you're eating bananas as part of your diet, you maintain the lean body mass and basically this helps you maintain the same level of your metabolism. So even though you're losing weight, your metabolism is the same and guess what? It promotes continued weight loss. So this is why the banana is now regarded as the wonder food of weight loss and the wonder food of how to lose your belly fat. This is why bananas are so great. Back to what I was saying about the beware part of the banana. So bananas have also been found to cause constipation. So those of you who suffer from constipation need to be very careful about the bananas that you eat. Okay, it's really important that you try to listen to your body, see what foods you're eating and see how your body is reacting soon after. So if you are a person who is, has regular bowel movements and you eat a banana and all of a sudden you feel constipated, you might want to rethink eating too many bananas. Now, there is actually a recommendation for children and if a child is suffering from constipation, it is recommended that, that you do not give them bananas. Okay. Another thing that's important to know is that there are a lot of patients who have diabetes and so they're always advised to eat really low sugars and eat foods that are low in sugar and bananas, believe it or not, has a lot of sugar. But there's a trick. You see, you have the unripe banana and then you have the ripe banana and they're both kind of different with what's inside of them. The ripe bananas have more sugar and they have a higher glycemic index. What does this mean? It means that the ripe banana will make your blood sugar rise higher. It has a glycemic index of 60. Whereas the unripe banana has a much lower glycemic index and this means that it increases your blood sugar a lot less. So if you're a diabetic and you love bananas, you don't have to cut it out of your diet. You can eat the unripe ones. The glycemic index of unripe bananas, in case you want to know, is around 30. So on average, a banana has a glycemic index of 50-51. But when you go into the NIH website, bananas are with a type of food that is actually recommended as part of a healthy diet for diabetics. And it does not specify whether or not it should be ripe or unripe. So for you guys that are diabetic, feel free to enjoy your bananas, don't feel bad, don't feel guilty, and don't be scared. Of course, monitor your blood sugars if you're advised to do so by your doctors and try to see what happens to your blood sugar when you eat certain fruits and make adequate modifications, okay? This is in summary, the benefits of a banana. I myself love bananas. Something that you should all take home with you is something I always say, moderation is key. A lot of you may wonder, Wait a minute, so you're telling me that I should eat bananas? Well, when do you eat bananas? And when do you eat bananas? Of course, I eat bananas all the time. I think that on average I eat maybe one to two bananas a day. Uh, I usually have it either in a smoothie for breakfast or in a smoothie for a snack later on in the day. Usually always in a smoothie, I love it. Uh, I also have it on chocolate rice cakes with peanut butter and banana on top. And I also love having bananas between my, my meals, so if I have breakfast and a few hours have gone by and I'm feeling kind of hungry, I'll have a banana. And I also have it one hour before I exercise so I can digest it, you know, get what I need from it. And then when I go work out, I don't feel like it's right here in my throat and I'm about to puke it out. You know, you don't want that. <laughs> okay. So if you guys have any uh, questions for me, go ahead and let me know. Don't forget to subscribe. The button's right down there. Also, make sure to follow me on all my social media, Twitter, Instagram, almost always I post stories almost always as much as I can um, Pinterest I also have a Facebook page go ahead and follow me on everything leave me your comments down below I'll see you guys next week I wonder what I'll talk about today bye